Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover this lab. First of all, click on Start Lab. And you won't require credits, so you can simply start the lab if you're doing it as a part of Arcadium. Now right click, open the Cloud Console incognito window. Now just activate the Cloud Shell and if you have got any pop-up before, just click on I agree, agree and continue and I understand. Now here you have to click on continue and then just authorize yourself. Follow carefully because this lab is very important for all of you. Just click on authorize. Now let me increase the text size. Now let's come over here to the lab instruction. First of all, come to task number one. First we will be creating the Docker repository. So just copy it, paste over here, hit enter. Now wait for the Docker repository to get created. It will take some time. So finally it is successfully created. Now, after that, we have to just load a pre-built image from the cloud storage bucket. For that, just come over here, paste it. It will again take some more time, so wait for it. So finally, once you see like this, come back again. Wait a second to the lab instruction. Now we have to tag the image as flag, sorry, Flask telemetry version 1. So just run it command to tag it. This is done. Now we have to push the Docker image to the registry. So it will take again some more time. So wait for it. Also do like the video and subscribe the channel in case you haven't done it yet. Finally it is successfully pushed. Now come back again and simply check the score for this particular task. Now we have to set up a Google Kubernetes Cloud Cluster Engine. So for that we need to create a cluster. For that copy this command and paste over here. See generally the cluster creation may take up to 10 to 15 minutes. So you need to wait for it and we'll be just fast forwarding it to the next step so that you will be able to move easily and conveniently so just wait for the cluster to get created after that we'll move forward to the next step okay so just wait for the cluster to get created so finally after waiting for 5 to 10 minutes our cluster has been successfully created now you can just check the score okay we have to do one more task that we have to deploy the Prometheus service so for that copy it paste over here hit enter now just wait and just come to the lab instruction and check the score. See, you may not get the score instantly. You need to wait for some more time because it takes time to update. So you can keep hitting check my progress or just wait for a minute and then again check the score. So just keep hitting check my progress. You can clearly see we have got the score after multiple attempts. Now it's time to deploy the application. For that, just copy this command. Okay. And just come over here and just paste and hit enter. Now all these things are done. Now we'll be using the nano editor to modify the file. Okay. So just copy it, paste over here, hit enter. Now here we have to replace the artifact registry name with the following. So just copy it from here. Carefully copy it. Now here just use the down arrow. Just use the down arrow and navigate. So here you can see this is our image. So just use the right arrow over here. I use the up arrow to navigate. Okay. I hope you understand this basic concepts of the navigation. Now just stop over here. From here just use the backspace button and keep clearing it. Carefully clear it. Once all these things are done, okay. Now just control V and paste the image. Now here we have updated the artifact image. Now let me see. Now to save we have to press control plus control and X together then Y and then hit enter. Once you have done this thing, we have carefully updated the registry image. You can see we have to press Control X, then Y, and then hit enter. We have saved the file. Now it's time to deploy the sample application. So just run the first command and run the apply command. So we have created 
the hello world GKE and the second one hello service 2. Now after that we will just verify whether the app is serving or not. So just run it. Now just run the call command. So it's taking some time. Do not worry about it. So here we have to wait for the output. Let me just run this also. This is also done. Now let's time out it. And let's check the score. So here it's taking some time. Do not worry about it. This will run for two minutes. So just wait, you can see we are getting the output now. So now it's executing all the steps. So it will be running till two minutes. And let's see whether we get the score. So we got the score. If you're not getting the score, simply wait for some more time. Now here we have to run this code block over cloud shell. Wait for it to get completed. After that, we'll run this code shell. So it will take some time. So it will take for a minute or uh, maybe up to two to three minutes after that once it looks like this come back again and in dot task 5 just copy it carefully paste it over here hit enter and it will just initiate and create a dashboard so you can see dashboard has been created now you need to simply check the score and let's see whether we are getting the score or not it will take some time you can clearly see we have got the score and that's the way we have to complete the lab if you still have any doubts do let me in the comment section do like the video and subscribe the channel guys because all the updates all the updated solutions and all the informations are provided over here thank you have a great day ahead